Morning, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee. One minute. I'll do my very best. Thank I'm you. I'm talking on two bills here at least. So, um, My name is Douglas Hall. I'm the uh, Director of Economic and Fiscal Policy at the Economic Progress Institute. We are a member of the Family Values at Work Coalition that has been uh, pushing successfully legislation to advance earned paid sick leave in 40 jurisdictions nationally. Um, I want to emphasize that the experience has been in all of those jurisdictions, the sky is not falling. This is not the end of the vibrant economy. In fact, the exact opposite is the case. Um, there's been a CEO survey that I wanted to draw to your attention. The question that was asked was, do you favor the expansion of paid sick days? 73% of CEOs said yes, they want to see paid sick time increased. This is something that saves money for businesses but it also saves money for the public. Um, it's estimated that if we were to extend paid sick time to all employees, it would save public coffers about $1.1 billion annually in, in total costs, including health care costs, because people who are forced to, you know, they wait until it's time to go to the emergency room, they're costing us a lot more than people that are able to be sort of more proactive about seeking care. Um, it's been mentioned that this is something that is disproportionately available to um, folks at the high end of the income spectrum. Um, if you'll reference my testimony, you'll see that between 2014 and 2016, because of our success at expanding um, access to earned sick time, um, the number of people at the lower end, at the bottom 25%, has increased from 30% to 39%. So it definitely makes a difference, and it's helping the folks who are most vulnerable in our economy.